My name is Dr. Oliver Lyon. I'm a staff scientist with NIAID, and I'm an associate professor at Johns Hopkins University in the schools of medicine and epidemiology. A PCR test tests for the RNA of the virus, while an antigen test tests for the protein of the virus. Both of those assays are used to detect for the presence of the virus in your body. An antibody test tests for the presence of your reaction to a viral infection. It can be used to detect whether or not your body has made a response to the viral infection or to the vaccine. You use a PCR or an antigen test to determine if you're currently infected. You use an antibody test to determine whether or not you have been exposed to the virus. Though both the PCR and the antigen test test for the presence of the virus, the antigen test is a little less sensitive than the PCR test, but it is a lot easier to do. You can do an antigen test at home. A PCR test has to be run by a laboratory. Where a PCR test will be positive for approximately seven days, an antigen test would be positive for approximately five days. If you are PCR negative, you still may be infected. The sensitivity of PCR and antigen tests are problematic as we are trying to test for the presence of a virus, which is in your lungs, using a swab from your nose or your throat. On average, individuals shed virus for approximately seven days, and they are PCR positive uh, for seven to 10 days. However, that can vary greatly. Individuals can be positive for months, depending on their immune status. As the PCR and the antigen tests have problems with sensitivity, if you have symptoms, assume that you are shedding virus and that you should isolate yourself.